A potential legal problem for prosecutors when it comes to people's right to a speedy trial. The pandemic has created a major backlog, so the Florida Supreme Court decided to halt that right for now. Now, some defense attorneys are raising the question if that's even constitutional. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson joining us live downtown at the Duval County Courthouse. Scott? Well, the state Supreme Court essentially said no speedy trial during the pandemic. We need this to play out. We need things to get safe. But now you have a lot of people waiting on their trials here at places like the Duval County Courthouse, maybe sitting in jail on a felony. And they are wondering whether or not this can be challenged on constitutional grounds. The Sixth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution reads the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial. Then a pandemic hits in March, and the Florida Supreme Court puts out this lengthy administrative order to deal with it. Look at the section on speedy trial. All time periods involving the speedy trial procedure in criminal and juvenile court proceedings shall remain suspended until 90 days after Florida enters phase three on the pandemic, which is right about now. In Duval County, for instance, the backlog of inmates accused of felonies stacks up. Look here. Since April, it has grown week after week to more than 4,000 pending felony cases. Shannon Schott is the Florida Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers Regional Chapter President. She points out the state of Florida could have a legal problem if someone successfully challenges this. But to be completely candid, Scott, I don't think this issue has been litigated. You know, the state of Florida and the, the United States government to take away a constitutional right, such as a speedy trial right, has to have a significant compelling state interest. The issue has started to pop up, first in Gainesville, where Brandy Lee Johnson was arrested for trying to cut a child with a meat cleaver. In August, a judge ruled prosecutors did not formally charge her quickly enough for a speedy trial and dismissed her charges. Then the opposite in Clay County, where David Pulliam was charged after a crash in Fleming Island critically injures two people. The judge sided with prosecutors who upped his charges after the speedy trial period of 175 days. And in that Fleming Island case, Pulliam represented by the Public Defender's Office, I reached out to Public Defender Charlie Gopher, who declined an on-camera interview, but does tell me that his office is actively researching this issue of speedy trial defense. And in the Gainesville case, where the charges were dismissed, the prosecutors are appealing that case, saying the appellate judge at the time did not properly follow the Supreme Court's guidelines. We're live downtown, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now, Scott, the attorney you spoke with said that the state has to have a significant, compelling state interest to delay speedy trial. Doesn't a pandemic qualify for that? Well, I talked to Ken, a good question, because I talked to a law professor at Florida Coastal School of Law about that. He says, yeah, you could argue that it, that is a compelling reason for the governor to delay this constitutional right. But at the same time, you could also argue, he said, that the state and federal government knew that coronavirus was an issue before the pandemic fully hit in March, and they could have taken measures to try and get some of these trials through sooner. Back to you. I'm downtown. Scott Johnson reporting live. Thank you.